Hello and welcome back to Alteryx Weekly Challenge. This is challenge number 44. Again, this is from the Inspire 2016 or Europe, Inspire Europe 2016 Grand Prix. And it's the final round from that competition. So if we just make this a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so following the initial data preparation, Leeds government would like you to use the advanced data at tools outside all tricks to answer the following questions. Complete the three following three steps to obtain the results of a at the accident level. That's the reference number. So if you just if we have a quick look, if you those of you who didn't see my previous video on the earlier one, this is the reference number, and you see this first one here. Uh, it's actually got two rows because it's casualty lists. So so let's have a look. So work out the average number of vehicles involved in an accident. So we just go back to that one and have a look. Number of vehicles is one. In this one it's two. Uh, this one is two, but only one casualty by the looks of it. So it should be fairly straightforward. What time bucket had the most accidents? So we've got, we created a time bucket in the first round uh, so we just need to summarize this by uh, reference number so that's a distinct count and how many accidents involved pedestrians okay so where is there's a passenger casualty Wonder if we've got any pedestrians anywhere driver in Casual to severity uh, type of vehicle. So we'll have to find where pedestrians are. To suspect that it will be in here, casualty class, because I've got driver, passenger. I'm wondering if pedestrian will be in there as well. So we'll have a look for that. Next, you have to ask uh, to build the logistics, build a logistic regression to determine which factors affected the, affected whether a casualty was, has a severity of fatal. Since there are relatively few ca casualties in this sever severity, uh, please use the oversample tool to get a 50-50 split. Hint: the name of the field you oversample cannot contain spaces and then from that which class has p which casualty class has the lowest p value in the model and uh, what is the coefficient estimate according to the model which genera increases the likelihood of being a fatal casualty let's get let's get on with it oh we've got some uh, We've got some model building details here. So variables to use, target create a dummy variable to indicate whether a casualty was fatal or not. Okay, And the predictors use the following variables. So it's telling us which ones to put into the, uh, the regression, logistic regression by the looks of it. Okay, all right, so let's, uh, let's get started, shall we?
Okay, and there you go. It looks like we've uh, we've completed it. So um, the only thing I need to put in here is um, right at the bottom. According to the model, which gender increases the likelihood of being a fatal casualty? Uh, it suggested male is a positive. So um, the hint says look at whether the sex of the casualty variable is positive or negative. So 1.51. I think means that it is the male is more likely I thought I've interpreted that correctly okay so um, so just to sum up uh, for you so the average number of vehicles involved in accident was 1.817 uh, which time bucket had the most accidents that's the evening and that was uh, found out in in here uh, uh, where we just basically summed the, the, the distinct count of the uh, reference numbers by the uh, bucket time bucket and how many in accidents involved pedestrians so we've got pedestrian as I thought in the casualty class so it's 2,562 which is a lot uh, for considering others I'm not sure these are it's real data but maybe it is um, uh, then we get on to the more difficult side, which is the uh, logistic uh, regression, or difficult for me anyway. Uh, so what casualty class has the lowest p-value? And you saw I was kind of figure fig faffing around trying to work out how to get this exactly right. Um, so once you can get the right data in the right format and process it, this pr greater than z thing, um, get it, this is the result we got out. So the last figure there is 0 0.75441 the lowest of the casualty classes so that's passenger um, and what is the coefficient estimate now oh, that was the first number so that's minus 0 0.208 and then, of course, oh, then we've gone through the gender bias one already okay so there you go thank you very much for watching and see you again next time